drop in my embedded code. Tell it where it belongs. I want it at the top. Lighter stuff floats. Uh, publish options. Promote to the front page. And save. And I'm going to log out. Here I am, maryhelp.net. There's my new video. Why do I like Drupal? Can you see why this is the right method for this project? I'm organizing videos. Now I can go in and I can attach codes and I'll go back and I'll attach a link to the published page later. So I'll do some more editing. It would be boring to have you guys watch me do that. But I, for me to be able to main something like, maintain something like maryhelp.net, which I get no money for ever, and I'm doing just because practice, I want to know how to do it and to potentially help people. Now I'm going to reformat this later and make this video a little smaller, set to about 350 pixels wide. And then I'll put in the link to where the actual page is published and I'll say a couple things about it, but usually less than a paragraph. People don't come here to read my writing, they come here to watch my videos. A quick paragraph tells them if it's the right video to watch. You guys with me on why I write a paragraph? But my maintenance on this is literally, if I want to create a page, you can see how fast the process is. I've done this site in Dreamweaver, never again. Process in Dreamweaver, because I was working on four or five different computers. I'd work at my Mac at home, I'd work on my PC at home, I'd work on my PC here at school in any classroom or the Mac in my office. Step number one, download the site to make sure I have the current site. Step number two, make changes by hand. Step number three, upload those pages and their changes to make sure the site, or synchronize the site again. And it got really tedious. This makes my time use more efficient, okay? You're going to play along with the next one because I can see that you're getting bored and starting to take a nap. No drooling on my keyboards, it's bad for them. Open up Word. <coughs> How many of you have ever taken a programming class? What's the traditional first program that you write? Hello world. You put a line of text on the screen. How many, is, how many of you have ever done an animation class? It's fun that there's more of those. What's your first animation exercise usually? Almost always a bouncing ball. Those are early ones at least. So we are going to create a web page here. And then we're going to hand code it in Dreamweaver to show you the difference. And then you're going to see that Dreamweaver has a special command for getting rid of garbage that Word creates. That's not what they call it. But I wanted you to see some stuff. I want everybody to program their first web page here if it's in Word. Type in hello world, exclamation point if you wish. About half of you have hand coded HTML. If this is all I want on my web page, how many lines of code do I actually need? Let's see, doc type, opening HTML, we could even skip the whole head section, body opening tag, paragraph, body closing tag, close the HTML page. We need six, li we need six lines of code. It will work with less. It will work with three, opening HTML, paragraph tag, closing. But well formatted, you need six. You guys with me so far? When I have Word create this page, how many lines of code am I going to get? Guess. More than 200. Let's do it. I want you to do File, Save As. I'm just going to save this to my desktop because I'm going to delete it when I'm done. And I want to save it as a Web page filtered, or eh, just do web page, HTML, HTML, web page. You've got options here, single file, web page, web page. I'm not, I don't remember which is the best or the worst. So I'm just going to do basic web page. I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this, minimize this. Out on my web, on my home page, I should somewhere in here see Hello world. 
Should be out here. There we go. Hello World Files. Oh, that's scary. Why do I need separate files for Hello World? I wonder what's in there. Apparently, I need three external files for Hello World. I don't think so. Here's my Hello World document. Well, it works. View, right click, I'm using Firefox, view page source. Why do I need this? And you don't need to be able to read the code here to see that there's a lot of it. I don't like Word for creating web pages. All of this garbage is unnecessary. And the more unnecessary stuff that you load, the longer it takes to download degrading site performance. This, in my classes, except for this exercise, no, not ever. You don't do web pages in Word. You guys with me on that? WordPad, TextPad, hand coding text files, A-OK. -okay. This, no. Dreamweaver feels the same way I do. Open up Dreamweaver. Open your file. Oh, I was wrong. I got the dual version here. 431 lines of code for Hello World. 431. I don't know if that makes anybody else rage, but as a programmer, my, da my dad would have a fit because he programmed before hard drives. He programmed, before, he programmed back in the punch card days. He couldn't imagine anybody creating 431 punch cards. He wouldn't do it. So I've opened this in Dreamweaver. And I'd like you all, does everybody have Dreamweaver open? I'll wait a minute. In Dreamweaver, they've got a lot of cool tools. I love Dreamweaver. And notice it does bring up the other files, because not only do we have our 400 lines of code, I don't even know what the heck that is. We've entered the matrix, except they're going that way instead of that way. And then we have color scheme mapping. So in addition to those 400 lines of code that we see, we have a bunch of other crap. Now this is hard to see, but again, this is grayed out because a lot of this is comments that again you don't need and you can't see on this resolution. Everybody have Dreamweaver open now? Hopefully you can play along with the next step. Dreamweaver. Commands. Clean up HTML, clean up Word HTML. They have a command just for Word. Remove all of this stuff. We're going to do everything. Word 2000 and newer. Word 97 was actually great. Hit OK. Clean up Word HTML results. I don't know if you can zoom in on this or not. Six meta tags removed. Meta tags information about the page. One instance of Word XML removed. Six word ifs. Why do we need an if statement in Hello World? What does an if statement do? It lets you make a decision. Do this or this. Why do we need an if? 34 word only styles. Three instances of non-standard CSS. Source formatting applied. Hit OK. It still has more stuff than I need, but it's not bad. All right. So that takes us down to, we actually have about the right amount of HTML and a built-in style sheet. You can't read this from the video, but it's telling us what our uh, font and font styles are. That's fine. Has an extended um, doc type because it's not doing HTML5, but really HTML head, body, language equals US, which English US, we should have that. Div, that just breaks it into a segment. Paragraph with a local style that we did styles up here. Hello world. That's the part we needed. Close the div, close the body, close the HTML. We removed over 400 lines of code plus the other files. Dreamweaver's a nifty tool. So in this class, 
we are going to focus 90% on Dreamweaver. We are going to use Dreamweaver with the content management system towards the end of class just to show you how it's done because I do think content management systems have a good place in web design. Any questions? Okay, that's it for the instructor-led lecture today.